question three from example sheet one. This is also found on slide 14 of the notes. Um, we're given atmospheric pressure, we're given a dry bulb temperature of 32 degrees and uh, relative humidity of 60%. Um, yes, as you might have guessed, you will be using the psychometric chart. Um, figure 31 because we're given two values, the dry bulb temperature of 32 degrees and a relative humidity of 60%. Um, basically, chart A31. And we're going to use this chart to find a range of values, specific humidity, um, enthalpy. You can find more information about enthalpy from the recommended textbook. Um, thermodynamic and engineer's approach. If you go to page 124, um, at least in the latest edition, the eighth edition, um, you can find some more information on enthalpy. We're also looking at the wet bulb temperature, um, dew point temperature, which we spoke about in previous videos, and finally, the Pacific volume as well. Okay, from the notes, obviously this is where the values we are looking for. Okay, and volume there. This is the value, so we've got a value of 32 degrees for dry bulb temperature. And we're going to pick the line up along there, which is relative humidity of 60%. Okay, I'm going to paste in the chart now. This is our dry bulb temperature, which is given, and we're looking for a line up 60%. So this is the point we're interested in because we're using this and degrees dry bulb temperature. Our line along here, like that, and what you're going to find is get 18. When I did this using the book, it's quite difficult here on the screen, but what you find is per kilogram of dry air, which on the answer sheet, I think it's put in the form of kilograms H2O here. Okay. This is A. W. Okay, let's look at. Okay, so next we're looking for the enthalpy. We're looking for H. And you're going to draw that line this direction here and you'll see you get the point there which is 79 kilojoules per kg so we're going to be looking for 79 kilojoules per kg now you might get slightly different values you'll notice i've got slightly different values to the answers given on the worksheet remember these parts of the questions are actually multiple choice for the exam so you know, as long as you're in the right ballpark, then you know you, you're going to get it right. But take your time, you know, be accurate, use a ruler, um, is what I would suggest you do. It's quite difficult here on the screen, obviously. I'm just illustrating how you get the values. Um, wet bulb temperature, part C. We're going to obviously look, you can see these lines here. The wet bulb temperature there just below comes through as 25. So, what I actually got when I followed a similar line up, I calculated perhaps too precisely. The wet bulb temperature of 25. Degrees per 
paste. Okay, and now we're looking at part D. We are interested in the dew point temperature, which rolling back up was straight line across like that. Yeah. Okay, so there and you can see we're looking at roughly a value of around 23.3 degrees And finally, um, we're interested in the Pacific volume and scrolling up. Remember, it's this point here, yeah, or this line. So it's these particular lines we're interested in. So we're interested in this line, we're interested in this line. So you've got a value of 0 0.88 there, and then this would be 0 0.89. So from my prediction, you're looking at 0.89 meters cubed per kilogram. Thanks.